the guest host of Jeopardy, Ken Jennings. He certainly had big shoes to fill. Ken Jennings has been holding down the fort as the guest host of Jeopardy over the past few weeks. Jennings has been working in the shadow of the legendary Alex Trebek, who passed away late last year following a battle with cancer. And our resident Jeopardy fanatic Richard Southern joins us now. And we're going to be seeing a rotating cast of guest hosts in the coming weeks. But not everyone is thrilled with the list, Richard. And says people angry, so I want to get your uh, hot takes on these names. I, by the way, I like Ken Jennings. I think he's doing a great job. I think but they're so going too. to bring yeah, other. He's good, right? Yeah. So Tell me have... what you think of some of these guest hosts that are going to follow him, though. This first one has everyone kind of really upset. Doctor Oz. Oh, really? That's an mm. interest. That's an interesting choice. I wouldn't. They I did a study it. on his show, and they found out half the claims he made, the medical claims, were, were baseless. Uh, Anderson right. Cooper. Do we see enough Anderson Cooper? Do we not? I like Anderson Cooper. Me too, though. Really he's good. Okay. Savannah Guthrie from uh, yeah. NBC, I believe, journalist yeah. there. She's amazing. Okay. Uh, Dr. Gupta. Okay. I like that. A lot of journalists on this list. They, yeah, Dr. Gupta. Maybe he should. He's a brain surgeon. Maybe he should be doing brain surgery as opposed to hosting <laughs> Jeopardy. But Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers huh. quarterback. All right. Is he really good at <laughs> trivia? <laughs> I don't know. He might have been hitting the head too many times. I know. Katie Couric. Now, she's going to be the first female host. She's going to host before uh, Savannah Guthrie. Um, yeah. So that'll be interesting. Okay. She's great. And finally, uh, another journalist, Bill Whitaker from 60 Minutes. Bill Whitaker. And we saw Mayim Bialik in there as well. Oh, we missed Mayim Bialik. Yeah. She was in there as well. Uh, Big Bang Theory. Pretty and cool. She's also a neuroscientist, apparently. So that could be an interesting pick. It's a lot of brilliant people on that list. You'd Pretty be cool. quite good at that. I have to say, these people have already found success. Give it to someone new. You'd be very good at this, Erica, quite <laughs> I frankly. No, I don't know about that. you got to be you got to be really good with the trivia, and you have to know everything about everything. So, and I, I think a lot of them the have been... I run into the because I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> a lot of them have been um, contestants before, I think, on True. maybe Celebrity Jeopardy. All right, True. they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but that apparently isn't the case when it comes to robotic dogs, Richard. We've been following this dog from, this is a robotic dog from Boston Dynamics. It's called Spot. It's now for sale. And they've given this now a gripper, oh. an arm. Oh, boy. It can pick up your laundry. That could be helpful, though, right, Erica? Yeah, it's not terrifying at all. It's fine. No, you know, picks up your laundry, and then it takes over the world. Uh, Spot <laughs> went on sale went on sale last June for $74,000. There's oh, more than 400 goodness. of them working, uh, including one on the Ford Motor factory floor. Oh, boy, imagine that opening the door and coming into your house, Erica. Is there an no, emergency you. off switch? Is there, like, <laughs> I just need to know where that is in case things go awry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fun and games until it becomes sentient and takes over the world. And lastly, remember those beer commercials for the world's most interesting man? Well, a New Mexico man has earned the exact opposite title. He's been named the dullest man in the world, or one, one of them. Uh, I want to introduce you to Johnny Mayer. And so why is he so dull? Well, it has to do with his ho-hum hobby. He collects gas station memorabilia. Oh, uh, he, that's not mm, dull. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, it's a little dull. He operates this um, museum in New Mexico that offers a glimpse back in time at gas stations. <laughs> the dull, there's a dull men's club, apparently. They pick 12 very boring men each year. Uh, he was one of them. As, as far as how he fe feels about it, he's pretty happy. He says, quote, uh, you live your whole life hoping to achieve something, and finally, I've achieved something, he said. He's happy about it. <laughs> very cool. All right, thanks, Richard, for joining us once again, and we'll see you again tomorrow. See you, Erica. The pandemic was tough enough, but I haven't actually slept properly since November, since I received that letter. A government mistake has hundreds of thousands